In this video I'm going to show you how to set up desktop avatars in Neos VR. So first what we want to do is open the dash. But you say how would we open the dash in desktop mode? Well it's using two buttons control and space. So when you press control space the dash opens and when you press control space it closes again. So we want the dash to be open then we want to go to inventory click on that then the first thing you will see is actually these two folders so where you want to go for avatars is you want to go in Neos Essentials then avatars works always by double clicking on the folder to enter it then you can already see a bunch of avatars right here so these are all categorized then are just gonna select one of these so the raccoon would be a very good example for this so there we have the raccoon selected by pressing once so when you click on it once it has it selected when you click a little bit twice it spawns the avatar but we don't want to do that so when you accidentally spawn after you can just like move and then leave it over there but what you want to do is actually click on it once and then press the lightning bolt icon. So there we go. Now we have the after equipped. So you can also see a heart icon. But we don't want to do, use that yet. Because that's for favoring the avatars. And we still need to add some more things to make it fully desktop compatible. So that's the next thing that we're going to do right now. So we go back to the root of the folder. So for you that would be inventory, for me I created a separate folder because my inventory is a mess. So yeah, so then you are back at the essential tool and Neos essentials folders. So we go now to essential tools, then we go to community tool, then we go to desktop utils. That pretty much got all the desktop uh, tools in it for setting up desktop. So we have one thing right here which is called uh, readme that's handy to have and spawn that out and it pretty much says the desktop controls itself but first what we need to do is actually set up desktop controls itself so the way you do that is go to after system 2 and then over here you see a whole bunch of things but the thing we want to use is this it's called desktop mode after maker so when we double click that it spawns it it's called desktopify and then you want to click this button so simply by pressing it it adds it to your avatar you can double press space so now we can walk as previously we didn't have that but you can also see my hands are still in a weird position so that's the next thing what we want to do so this also explains it over here what each button does so pretty much if you want to read this you can but I'm going to explain pretty much what buttons you need to use to move the hands so to move the hands into a right position you do that by holding shift and then B for one hand this is why a mirror is very handy so you can actually see where our hand is going so it's kind of glitchy to set this up right but I mean when the hands are at the side that's good so they're not in a weird place anymore so for the next one for the right hand we do shift and then N and then with the mouse move it to also to the side so then one of our hands is still a little bit behind so then we can loop down and then kind of move it. Move it around. Uh, almost. So this is a bit finicky to get in the right position. So yeah, I'm just trying to get it right at the side. 
like kind of like that okay so when they're neatly at the side what you want to do then is go back to your inventory go back to the root so to the uh, uh, for you it would be the inventory for me it's this one so just when you click on the inventory that's good then you s see these button or these two folders again what you want to do now is press on the green plus icon and create a folder named desktop f that hours so there you go and click on create so then the folder is created and what we want to do now is press the download icon so that's the blue icon right here looks like a download symbol what that will do is save the after that you're wearing directly to the inventory so any changes you just made to it with the hands moving it in place and such is then saved so that you want to do it pretty much every time you make a change to after you want to resave it with this to the inventory so then what you do is click on the after once so it's blue and then you press the heart icon the heart icon makes it so it's your favorite after so now you, sa you save the after and favorite the after that's set up for desktop mode so now you can walk around fly around with all pressing space and I believe there's also crouch in some afters but this one didn't have it yet but yeah that's pretty much how to set up desktop utils and desktop mode in NEOS VR so thanks for watching and see you in the next video.